At the University of Chicago Medical Center, you wouldn't blame Daru Smith Happy with the and Sarah McFarlane for keeping their distance. They were both on the same wait list for the same rare triple organ transplant. I was like, I don't want to feel like it's a competition thing, like, you know, who's going to live and who's going to die. Daru has an inflammatory condition that caused organ failure. When Sarah was a child, a virus attacked her heart and she had a heart transplant at 12. But recently her health deteriorated. Both needed heart, liver, kidney transplants, but no hospital has ever done two in a single year. My mom and I were both starting to get a little like sad or down. Because they were telling me that we need basically a miracle. Doctors don't introduce patients on the same wait list, even if they have different blood types like Sarah and Daru. But they met at physical therapy and a friendship began. I saw him go on a walk. I was like, oh, I should really get up and go do my laps too. Sarah was just marathon, you know, <laughs> knocking out laps. And she would encourage me like, you know, we got you, Daru. We can slow down a little bit. She was kind of like a coach. Yeah, yeah, motivation. All right, good job. That positivity paid off. Days before Christmas, Daru had a donor, a new chance at life, and to see his three-year-old grow up. To be honest, I had felt a little bad at first. And I was like, she also been through so much, too. You know, like, why didn't she go first? Then, during Daru's surgery, the transplant team got news they could only describe as a Christmas miracle. Sarah got a match, too. This is the first time it's happened, that one institution is doing in the same year. I'm not saying in the same months. I'm not saying in the same week. We never in our dream thought it would be so close. Sarah, how did you get the news that you were going to get transplanted? Well, so it was kind of funny because Dr. Smith came in. Of course, I knew who she met. I like her time. Oh, she's sending a special record off. <laughs> <laughs> because Dr. Brian Smith is my fiance. Uh, I said to her, have you heard the great news? And we were all like, oh, Drew's back. Like, it didn't take 20 hours. So we just were so excited. Kept talking for a minute or so, and, and I realized she had no idea. The good news was for her. Exactly, yeah. So I, I stopped her and said, actually, the donor's for you. And she and her mother were speechless. We are like, completely oblivious to it for a long time. And it's because of all, like, the excitement from, of ourselves for Drew. We have patients who have waited two days. And Dr. Voluvan Jivanandam is the pair's heart surgeon. All told, Daru's surgery took 17 hours, Sarah's 20, almost back to back. What do you think it was that brought matches for both of these patients in such a short amount of time? Um, fate. It's one of those things about transplant, which is actually spiritual. You control some things, but when donors occur, you have no control over it all. And maybe there is karma in that they're rewarded for their good deeds. Good deeds, like being open to friendship where others wouldn't, and paying it forward. I'm just forever grateful for the decision to be an organ donor. I'll forever take the gift, treat with respect. Well, usually I don't do the new year, new me stuff, but I can honestly say this year is like new year, new me.